This equation might trick a lot of people, because it might seem really really difficult, but I'm going to show you a trick that makes this much much easier, so watch to the end. We have 7 divided by 7 divided by 7 divided by 7. So let's solve this. We have 7 divided by 7, we have 1, then 7 divided by 7, we have 1, and we also have one more division, that gives us 1. But this answer is not correct, because according to the PEMDAS or order of the operations, if we have the same operation or the same type of operations, we need to work from left to right, and here we didn't do such a thing. We did this division first, then this, and then this, and we need to work from left to right. So now let's correct every mistake that we made. We have 7 divided by 7, this one, we work from left to right, so we need to start with this one. 7 divided by 7 is pretty easy, we get 1. And we're left with divided by 7 and divided by 7. And again, we work from left to right. So we have 1 divided by 7. And if we divide, we'll get an uneven decimal, and we don't want that. It's much much better to write this as a fraction. 1 divided by 7. And not to bother with all of that rounding. Wait, if you like the explanation so far, please consider subscribing. Thank you. We have 1 divided by 7 and we have divided by 7. I'll write 7 a little bit above everything, now we will understand why. If we have a division between two fractions, in this case we can just divide with 1 and this will be a fraction, we can just flip the divisor, in this case 7 divided by 1, but change the sign into multiplication. So in this case we get 1 divided by 7 times, this time we have times instead of division, but now 1 divided by 7. We flip this fraction. The denominator becomes numerator and numerator becomes denominator. And now to multiply the fractions we multiply numerators and denominators. So we have 1 times 1, this gives us 1, and then we have 7 times 7, this gives us 49. And that is the final solution. Let's write it down. If you want to test your skills after this video, try to watch this one and solve the equation there. Have a nice one.